Hello, my name's Don B. Uh, I'm a user of uh, Serif Web Plus, and you'll find me on the Web Plus forum on the serif.com site. In this tutorial, we're going to look at text boxes. You've got the normal uh, HTML. and creative uh, with the existing users you will notice straight away that the nodes around the bounding box on both of them are the same color whereas they weren't in uh, in x4 a uh, couple of um, things to look at for to to show you what you, what type it is. Um, HTML, obviously, the, you've got the the hint line at the bottom which says it, but uh, with no text in, uh, you've just got the bounding box nodes uh, and nothing else. And the creative, you've got rotating tool, middle top. And you've got the overflow button for when you overflow to another text box. That's the, um, the only quick way of distinguishing between the two. Now, what you can do with them, there, there's a couple of new things, new options. If we add some text into the HTML, and I all I'm going to do is insert select the box first insert placeholder text and you will see you got the paragraphs there and if you click start to the, the first paragraph and click tab you can indent the first paragraph on its own Previous versions of Web Plus didn't have this. The, the X5, you can. But there's a slight thing with this, as I'll show you. Here, I've put the text in first and then indented. If I was to indent first, then insert text you will see that the paragraphs are indented all the paragraphs that you put into the into the text are indented you can stop the the tab effect by going to tools options uh, text auto correct and then uncheck use tab key to alter paragraph indentation instead of inserting a tab and that will stop the indentation get that and then put in placeholder text and then click tab it only gives you a one figure movement across whereas backspace change the tools options click that ok out and then click tab it indents it the next thing you can do with uh, HTML is margins there's a new button in the context toolbar frame setup if you click that you can put frame margins around the text if I just put five 
top, bottom, left and right. OK. You will see, I'll get a bit closer. You'll see a dotted line around where the margin is. Now you can, once you select the text box with a bold and then put your cursor over the margin lines, you can drag them in and out, ups, up and down to get the margins that you require. Uh, this has been brought in from page plus. Staying with text boxes, um, user, user details have been uh, updated a little. If we go to tools, user details, you got the the home user details, but now you have business sets user details. So if you're making websites for uh, other people, you can have their own business set of details. Uh, whereas in the previous versions of uh, Web Plus, you had one set of user details, and that was it. You were stuck with it. Uh, but now you can have the default and then you can start new ones, add a new name, OK, and then you can add their details here and then you can work on their site using these details. Uh, the other thing that we have is variables which uh, you can put into sites and then when you change the variable value uh, you can update the site and it will update all the instances of that value. For instance, yeah, this is a, a global so it will affect any site that uh, you do with X5 or with a site, it'll be locked in. Here, like so it prompts you to save the details now if I go to this bit of text here and insert information variable go to the site variables and there product for OK, page plus X5, there. Now if I go to Tools, User Details, page plus X5, if I change that to 6, click Update and watch the text on the, on the left, and that changes to X6. So it would affect all the, all the instances of that throughout the throughout the site well that's it for this short uh, video I uh, hope you give you a couple of little uh, things that may improve your workflow through your sites I'll do another video uh, very shortly okay goodbye <laughs>